This is KXAN News. Now at five, UT men's basketball coach Chris Beard has been released on bond after being arrested on a family assault charge early this morning. Thanks for being with us. I'm Daniel Muddy and I'm Jennifer Sanders. Now this is a third degree felony. KXAN's Nabil Ramanda joins us live from the Travis County Sheriff's Office where Beard was released about two hours ago. Nabil. That's right, just before 3 p.m. That's when Beard appeared outside of the Travis County Jail here behind me. He was escorted by his attorney. They actually walked him just across the street here into an SUV that was waiting. Now, he did not give any comment during that time. His attorney didn't either. We are still waiting to hear more, but here's what we know so far. A mid finals week. Yeah, I was shocked. <laughs> UT students woke up to hear UT men's basketball coach Chris Beard had been arrested in Travis County. I'm, I'm about to like go research it and see what's going on. Here's what we know. The Austin Police Department says it was called to a home in the 1900 block of Vista Lane in West Austin. According to APD, when officers responded to the address, they found a woman who said Beard assaulted and choked her. Jail records show the 49 year old coach was booked for assault on a family member, household member at about 4 a.m. Monday morning. It's a third degree felony, and so it's essentially assault causing bodily injury with the added element of impeding the airflow or the breathing or the blood circulation of the, of the victim. Kelsey McKay is an attorney who's not affiliated with this case, but offered some insight on what could happen next. Whether the DA's office chooses to accept charges, um, that's up to them. She says there's a wide range of punishments that he could face. So it's anywhere from two to 10 years in prison or probation. So any that full range of punishment I imagine could be considered. Absent him having some type of criminal history, it wouldn't be uncommon for him to get probation. And certainly one thing that might dictate a change in those charges and potentially the punishment is going to be the seriousness of it. Beard was released from the Travis County Jail at around 3 p.m. He had no comment when asked about the arrest. I do hope that the university, if, if these charges are true, does hold him accountable for, for what he's done. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. Now, Beard posted a $10,000 bond and was released. During an initial court hearing with a magistrate, an emergency protective order was issued for two months. He has to stay 200 yards away from the home where the alleged assault took place, and he has to stay at least 200 yards away from the victims at all times. Now, again, we are working to get some more information here. Uh, Beard or his attorney did not offer comment as they were leaving here, but once we do have more, we'll be sure to keep you updated. Reporting live downtown, Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. All right, Nabil, thanks so much. And American college student has been reported missing by his family while studying abroad in France. The